Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in my last video we looked at combination dial padlocks, how they work, how by turning the dials um, to the right combination you can release the shackle, how by disengaging the uh, gears um, on the dials you can actually rotate them freely to get to you a new code, um, and also how the gates and false gates work. Uh, essentially, by turning the dials to the right number, you align a gate um, which allows the teeth on the shackle to slide through. If none of that makes sense to you, please go look at my last video and that will clear everything up. So this padlock was sent to me by G-Man, um, a YouTube user who got in contact with me um, because he, he forgot his combination and thought it'd be fun to see me decode it. Um, on camera, so I got it delivered um, and I've decoded it. So we'll have a look at um, how I did that. But before I do, I just want to shout out to Potty314, who um, whose videos actually showed me how to do decoding of these locks in the first place. So please go check out Potty314's channel. Um, he's a really nice guy and an excellent picker. Definitely one of my favourite YouTube channels. So. How do we go about decoding the slot? Well, I've set it all to five. Um, if you put tension on the shackle uh, with this lock and turn, um, find a binder and turn it, so this is quite stiff, um, you'll feel it settle into a gate and then you need to turn it again and it'll settle into another gate. And when it settles into um, a gate, a false gate or a true gate, the numbers actually sort of seize up. And the only way to turn the dial is by pushing the shackle in again and turning to the next number. Now it seems to be one every sort of two numbers so I should have a gate around uh, north and I do. Um, so the first thing to do is to turn the dials uh, back and forth finding the um, sort of uh, most resistant one until you get all of these into a gate. It should be quite obvious so let's have a go. Um, I'm just going to start at this end uh, Well, actually, and it's quite loose that's quite tight, it's in a gate. That's uh, possibly in a gate now. Let's uh, press that one. Yeah, we're definitely in a gate now there. That's not moving. That's, the, oh, that's in a gate. Definitely in a gate. What about this one? Yeah, that's not moving either. So we've definitely got dials which move a little bit, but no further. So we're sort of in a gate. Um, so now what do we do? Well, now we've got uh, these uh, dials in a gate. There's a process by which we need to find the one which is um, binding and keep moving that until it freeze up and becomes sort of more loose. If you look here, you can see that this dial moves quite considerably in its gate. Now that could mean that it's in a true gate or um, it's in a false gate, but the binding order is such that um, it doesn't bind as tightly because all the pressure on the teeth are uh, binding against the other dials. So the only thing to do is find the, the tightest one and turn it until that becomes loose. This one's quite tight and this one's quite tight. Sometimes when they're both very tight um, it's hard to choose between the two um, but I would say that dial 2 is definitely giving the least movement. Okay. Um, there's no right way to turn it so I'm going to just turn it clockwise so that just seems logical. So depress the shackle, move it forwards until we hit another gate. Okay there we go. Okay, now, interestingly, I would say that it's still the tightest one, so let's turn it again into another false gate. That's got lots of movement on. Uh, still between one and two. I'm going to keep with this one, though. Now, oh, getting quite loose around here now. That's definitely freed up 
lots of movement. So let's try a tighter one. Ah, number one. Let's try this one. Keep turning it until it goes into another false gate. Okay. Still tight. Okay. Into another false gate. Still quite tight. Let's see who is the tightest one. That's still loose. That's still quite loose. This is still tight. This is still tight. So turn again. Now we're in a false gate. Make sure they're all in a gate. Yeah. So this is now dial one is relatively loose. Uh, dial two is dial three. It's in a gate now, but it's surprisingly. Um, loose still. So whatever's happening there, the binding order's not great. So I'm going to try again with um, uh, this one, moving it clockwise. This is the dial two, sorry. Dial, dial one's loosened up a bit, so uh, considerably so. So And dial two uh, is still tight. So let's make sure everything's in a, in a gate. It doesn't matter really. I think you just got to move from one to one. So let's push this in, turn again. in a gate it's quite loose let's see ah now we've bound up some other ones so one of these dials is probably in its true gate you can see that okay this one's quite loose now this one's quite loose now this one very stiff and so is this one uh, which one is the most stiff probably three let's try this one press the shackle a little bit to get it moving and we're in another false gate. Quite loose. Still a bit tighter than four though, so depress. So again, it's a turn. Into the next, there we go, false gate. There, there seems to be every two numbers, so. Uh, So that's still, you can see this is still the tightest. Look how loose this one is. Press again. Make sure these numbers are Okay, actually, I would say at this point that, oh, Give that hand a rest. It needs to put quite some tension on here. Actually, I'd say that these are looser than this dial here, which is actually quite tight. So, uh, so we've got some numbers: zero, eight, eight. Let's push this in. Turn again. Ah, zero, eight, eight, zero. So there we go. Um, that was the original combination. Uh, what I might do is get uh, my wife to um, recode this. So uh, if you don't mind waiting a minute, I'll just get her to put in a random number and maybe we can do a quick decoding. Okay, give me two seconds. I'll be back in one minute. And we're back. So uh, my wife has recoded this. I've got no idea what it is at all. All I can do is try to reapply uh, my knowledge and see what we can get an open on. Um, let's start with everything on five, if uh, or as close to it as possible um, in terms of being on the false gate. So uh, I don't know which number the false gates sit on. So I'm just going to turn them all to five as a start because uh, it's sort of like a central number, isn't it? Um, that's that's sort of my method is just turn it all to the middle. Um, because it's circular, it literally does not matter what you start on. But um, starting on five, I'm going to work clockwise. Uh, and there we go. Right, here we go. So just put a little shackle tension on. Turn it until that's in a gate. That's in a gate. That's in a gate. 
and that's indicate and it seems to be hard to get this one to bind so um, yeah can't get number four to bind so uh, okay we'll just turn it to something like the other ones like uh, four if that's where everything is okay now let's try put shackle tension on which one's the tightest Definitely, definitely two. Okay. Turn to the next gate. Make sure everything else is in. Okay. Uh, I still say it's the tightest, so let's, uh, yeah, let's turn it again. Ah. Okay, we're in a gate, but that is so loose. Okay, so which one is the tightest one? One. So this binding order must be sort of dial two, then dial one, maybe. Okay, let's have a go. So. Okay. It's in a gate, but yeah, it's definitely the tightest. Turn it again. So one's now really loose. Three is probably the tightest. So quite loose, pretty loose. Mm, so toss up between three and four. Let's uh, let's try four. Yeah, it's actually quite tight. Yeah, you can see that's quite tight. Okay, let's depress it. Next gate. Ah, into a nice gate. It's quite loose actually now. Very loose. Oh, really tight. Okay. So um, this could be the real number. So the number could be one zero something three. I don't know. Let's let's try this one. Move it a gate forwards. That's really loose. That's loose. That's loose. Really loose. Really loose. Really tight really loose okay so that's obviously not right it's the next gate yep there we go loose loose tight and probably looser press it in again oh that was a, a big one loose tight so loose loose I think I moved this star by accident actually and it seems to move the shackle so I reckon that's actually a one so one zero something one loose yeah very loose very loose really tight very loose okay let's try this a couple more goes no loose loose I'm guessing it feels loose-ish, but it's still the loose, the tie test. Oh, there we go. So the the, the code was one zero nine one. Um, have a go yourself. Um, it's actually quite good fun. Um, and you can play around with these locks. They're quite good to keep in your pocket. Um, just you know, uh, change the code, uh, decode it. It's good fun on the train or the bus. Um, I really like decoding these things. Okay, I'll see you next time.